Hey y'all, it's your girl Carolyn Gray, host of the Looking and Feeling Your Best at Any Age channel on YouTube, also the host of the Information Queen channel on YouTube. However, I don't do videos for that channel as much, but I still have a few hundred videos out there from years ago if you ever want to check it out. But anyway, I'm back yet again whining after the video that I talked about where I had a bad Afro day. And that's happening more often now that I have reached almost a two year mark for my last texturizer where, um, you know, I've been trimming and trimming and most of the texturized hair is gone, if not all of it. So, um, and surprisingly, the roots are not the problem. It's the ends that, um, that seem to be so tangled, so um, ballsy, even though, you know, I moisturize, I trim like crazy, and they don't really care about conditioning. It's just a dry nature of my hair and what works one week doesn't work the other week and then you rotate and so you know I've tried all of these products you know by I don't know Shea Moisture um let's see who else um something beautiful um Kemet Biologics you know for anyone who wants to um to remind me of that again you know I spent quite a bit of money on that full line as well as you know Carol's Daughter a lot of different um, things like Cantu, all of the El Pantene, their newest um, line of products for um, like natural hair. And so um, none of it works for me consistently. I even resorted back to making my own product and it worked wonderfully the first day. Then the next day, you know, my hair was all dry again, even though I just washed it two days ago. And I hate to keep washing it frequently because every time I shampoo, like I don't have the kind of hair that just air dries, you know, very quickly. My hair, as it dries, it draws up and, you know, it gets very tight. And that's one of the reasons it's frustrating me when I wear my Afro because if you put any kind of moisture or like cream based product on it the day of, it's going to shrink immediately. It has to be fully dry, um, which is how I resorted to using Vaseline to pull it out. If you check out one of the videos that I did a few months ago, which worked well for a time, but then my hair's like, eh, that doesn't work anymore. So it's just a very frustrating time. So I'm at a very weak moment. So I know that I'll be very tempted to ask the stylist who does my permanent color, because I'm at least 60% gray. Um, to ask her about maybe, you know, running a relaxer or a texturizer through, you know, like just for like a minute or two, just to loosen the curl pattern, which is what the stylist did um, from years ago when I first went natural, um, as she realized that I couldn't comb the crown. <laughs> with any success and you know she actually suggested the texturizer I was trying to stick it out and even with the texturizer it was very difficult to comb and you know like like I said regardless of what products I use um, there's constant retangling even after you've combed it through you know whether it's before you shampoo whether it's during the shampoo whether it's when you're conditioning whether it's with a co-wash um, it's a pain in the butt to detangle and it loves to retangle. It's just the type of hair that I have. So while I'm in this weak moment, very frustrated, if I wasn't 51, I would consider relaxing again, but I don't want to do that. Um, I want to, you know, maintain the health of my hair and even, um, Though I haven't relaxed in two years, the fact that I'm using permanent color because I like it to be black, you know, like the areas that I thought would fill in um, more thick or more thickly or whatever you want to call it, um, you know, those areas are th are still um, like saying, hey, we don't know, you know, so praise the Lord, you know, I have full edges, but like there are just some areas, I don't know if it's because of my age or because I'm still on the pill or because I use permanent color or because I relax so many years, I really have no idea. So all of that to say is I decided to just moisturize and, you know, slightly detangle, pull it up into my natural bun. This is what, um, you know, I exercise in, you know, I go to bed a lot of the times and if I don't feel like dealing with the afro, I normally pull it up. And I feel like the little girl in the movie called A Bronx Tale, um, you know, this isn't one of my favorite looks, you know, I can rock this, but I would prefer not to. And after yesterday wearing, um, my little hair piece, or actually a big hair piece, um, it's a drawstring ponytail. And I had, in order to get my bun to fit into it, I have to like, all of the drawstring ponytails that I've ever tried, I have to cut a hole in the cap. I don't really know how, you know, you really get that around, you know, a thick 
bun. But anyway, so um, this one is thick enough. I don't know who makes it, but I know it's not outright like the other, um, you know, inferior one that I showed you in the recent video. Um, all it has in it is just Vanessa you know, by Fifth Avenue. I have no idea where I got it, but it's been in my linen closet for the last five or six years. So I'm thinking that I might put this on and see how it looks and make a decision as to whether or not this is how I want to go out into the world or if this is how I want to go out in the world. So, but for right now, after all the whining, um, I'm going to come back with this in just a second. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went and put on the, um, the hair piece that I just showed you. And I also did one better. I asked my husband what he thought, if he preferred the, um, the girl from The Bronx Tales or A Bronx Tale, um, which a movie that we both liked, um, or did he prefer this? And he thought about it for a minute and then he said, and do something different. And so he went with this look. So I said, okay, we'll definitely go with this. So um, I just threw it on top of the bun that I have. I probably should have some sort of wig cap or something, but I do not. Um, and so it's actually sticking through the top, but because this is such a full um, um, ponytail, it covers up the bun that I had. So I'm gonna rock this look today. And um, like I told you, I moisturized and I have a boatload of gray edges. So um, there's a mirror behind the camera. So I just touch those up with um, what I lovingly refer to as hair mascara, but it's um, Quick Cover um, by Kiss, a root touch up that I found at, or root cover up that I found at my local beauty supply store. So, um, and it also um, works better than that Cream of Nature, um, Perfect Edges, the black that I also mentioned in the other video. I just went back to the regular um, Perfect Edges um, because the black had no, um, no benefit at all for the gray edges. So, so this is a look that I'm gonna have and while I contemplate what to do with my afro, whether to texturize again as I approach the second year um, anniversary of my last texturizer. Um, it's just kind of a dilemma, especially since I don't want to go gray. Like I have a cousin, um, she just turned 52. I'll be 52 in February. She is completely gray and you know, she wears it, you know, with elegance and sophistication. Um, I love it on her. But it's just not for me. I don't want, you know, my hair to be all gray. And like, so she has relaxed hair. So I said, well, you're embracing your gray, but you're not embracing your naps. And so I said, well, I'll embrace the naps, but I'm going to keep fighting the gray. So I think like both of those at the same time, for me personally, is, you know, more than I can bear. I'm struggling with just, you know, battling the naps. If they were just a little more manageable, I wouldn't have as much of a problem. But you don't want to make a decision in haste. And I don't want to do something that I would regret because what if that stylist, you know, leaves the relaxer, the texturizer on a little bit too long and I wasn't going to put it on the roots either because I don't want to do anything, um, you know, for thin areas right about here. But, um, you know, what if that compromises the integrity of my hair in your 50s you really just can't afford to mess around so until I get my thoughts together and you know not be as frustrated I'm just gonna maybe like explore a little bit with some believable hair pieces and my husband said yesterday that the way I had I don't know if today it does but he said it looked believable so um, so this is what I'm doing and um, how I'm rolling for the next few days. I don't think I'll wear it tomorrow because I'm going to go visit my son at school and um, I don't want to hear his mouth. <laughs> I FaceTimed my youngest son last night and he didn't notice, and even my cousin, the one that um, has the gray hair, she didn't realize that um, it was a hair piece. She just thought my hair was really curly. I guess like say if I had gone to the stylist and let them do like some sort of rod set. Um, it could be very curly, but it would never be, you know, this long. So obviously yesterday it was believable. So hopefully, you know, today it's believable as well. But like I said, tomorrow I'll just probably bust out the afro to go visit my son. And, um, but right now that's all I got. Um, I guess if you feel like, you know, sharing some of your product ideas or some of your tips, um, feel free, but I'm just at this point where I'm so tired of wasting money on different products and trying new things because the last thing that someone suggested that I got really excited about because I had done rinses with apple cider vinegar because I drink apple cider vinegar and water um, three times a day 
with great success. And so someone said, oh yeah, you should rinse, you know, with it. So I rinsed with it. It did nothing to improve, you know, the tangle ability of my hair or, you know, the comb out value. And so then another person said, oh, well, yeah, what you have to do is, you know, you have to, um, you know, to spritz it with um, apple cider vinegar. And so I said, okay, that might be interesting. And so what I did, I spritzed it, I put conditioner on it, and then I shampooed it out. The first time it did improve, you know, how easily I could comb it out while it was wet in the shower. And so then I said, okay, I might be onto something. And then the second time I tried it, ah, not so much. So, um, so right now I'm just gonna give my hair a break leave it alone and as my mother from Georgia would say go somewhere and sit your butt down and so I'm going to take that to me go sit my butt some down down somewhere and wear a hair piece until you know I come to my senses but until then I really appreciate you guys listening to me whine and feel free to give comments about you know which look you think you think looks better and um, and I'll be open to hearing that and like I said the products um, the recommendations of them I'll take with a grain of salt because I'm really really very tired you know and unless you're prepared to come here and shampoo it and do all of your tips for me and then you know see what I'm working with then I just don't know I really don't know but until then thanks so much for stopping by like I said for hearing me one feel free to comment and also visit my um, new website it's at www.yourbestatanyage.com until then have a good one take care bye bye